the bears were in such pain. The ceiling was just about to cave in. We worked our way cage by cage, just freeing them. It was quite one of the most challenging rescues that we've ever done. The moment that changed my life was many, many years ago when a journalist friend of mine told me about a bear farm in southern China. So I joined a tour group and I found steps going down into a basement and there in front of my eyes were 32 moon bears housed in horrendous conditions and it was just like being in a, in a horror film. And I left that farm knowing that the course of my life had just changed. Across Asia, Asiatic black bears or moon bears are kept in the most despicable conditions on bile farms where they are milked for their bile. And bile is used in traditional medicine despite the fact that no one is going to die for the lack of bear bile and it can easily and cheaply be replaced. Okay, all right guys. These bears have really never seen the light of day. They are kept in cages their entire lives. Cages so small that they actually can grow into them so that they have the indentations of the bars running along their bodies. Very often they have their paw tips that are cut away and all four canine teeth are cut back to gum level. And then they have this full metal jacket that holds a latex catheter in place and just suffocates their bodies. Which is crazy, isn't it? It's just, that's crazy. In 2010, we walked into this bear farm in Shandong and we worked our way systematically, cage by cage, just freeing them. You can feel all the wire just... So there's probably a lot of damage inside there. He's in a bad way. How he's lived through, I don't know. A day in, we realised that one of the bears was dying. We're taking him over to the hospital where they've got oxygen and we can anaesthetise him and she's going to go in surgically and find out what's going on. We were stuck right in the middle of a traffic jam. Incredibly, our Chinese team, they found police to get us to a local hospital. And within about four hours, our vet team had removed this diseased gallbladder from the bear. This disgusting contraption was keeping an illegal catheter embedded into the bear's gallbladder and abdomen. Miraculously, Oliver survived and we were on our way back to the sanctuary. The sanctuary enables them to behave like a bear for the very first time. When those den doors open and they just go bursting out into the sunshine, it's a, a feeling that is indescribable. The transition for us is an incredible emotional roller coaster from start to finish. My wish used to be that I want bear farming to end in my lifetime. I'm too impatient for that now. I want bear farming to end in the next year or two.